Hey, someone asked me recently what can you do with just simple HTML and CSS, so I thought I should do a tutorial on copying an Instagram card just so you can see how simple it is and how quickly you can build something that looks really good. So I've created a blank HTML file, which I've opened in the browser on the left side. And on the right side, you can see that same HTML file in the code editor. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste some template HTML, which I'm going to change. And what I want to do is create the basic structure of the Instagram card. So if we take a look at the image here, we can see that there is a header bar and then there is an image. And then underneath that, there are a few actions that you can do. And underneath those actions, there is the number of likes. And then there are the comments. So what I'm going to do now is create a div that wraps the entire uh, card. And I'm going to give that an idea of Instacart. And then for each one of those sections, I'm going to create a separate div. And I'm going to give IDs to each one of those uh, divs. I'm going to have five divs that each mimic one of the sections that I've showed in the image, namely the header, image, actions, likes, and comments. And now starting from the top, I'm going to continue with adding the elements for the header. And I'm going to have a profile image and then a span containing the profile name. And then the uh, three dots that uh, stand for the actions that you can do on the card. So by looking at the image again, we can see that header with the three elements at the top, uh, the image, the profile name, and the three dots. Now the next step is going to be to add some CSS. And for that, I'm going to create a separate file just so the CSS is nicely packed into a separate file. And I'm going to first set the background to red, just because I want to see that the CSS is being loaded. And then I'm going to reset it back to white. The next step is to add a border around the entire card. And for that, I'm going to give it a class of Instacart to the other div. And by reloading the page, now you can see a one pixel border around the entire div. Next, I'm going to work on the profile image. And for that, I'm going to try a width of 100 pixels and a height of 100 pixels and then a border of one pixel. But that looks like too much. So I'm going to go down to 32 pixels. Notice that the profile image is currently missing, and that's because I just gave it a random name there. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, drag in a logo that I have uh, on my computer and then change the name in the image source to point to that logo file. And now it looks much better. The next thing I need to do is figure out how to vertically align all the elements inside the header div. So I've got the logo, I've got the profile name, and I also got those three dots that stand for the actions that you can perform on the card. And so in order to align those vertically, I'm going to give the header div a height of 60 pixels and a padding of, of 16 pixels. And then the margin is going to be zero. And then I'm going to reset the box sizing to border box. That way the padding behaves a lot more naturally. And so now what I'm going to do with uh, the rest of the elements um, is I'm going to use a floating position. So I'm going to float all the elements inside the header to the left, except for those uh, three dots, which are going to be flow to right.
And now that all the elements are positioned correctly, they're vertically aligned, I need to give them some uh, weight to that font to make it bolder. And I'm also going to use the same font family that Instagram is using. So now what I want to do is move those three dots to the right. And in order to do that, I need to move the span containing those three dots to the top. That way, when I float them to the right, they're going to be aligned uh, in the right position. But for that to work, I also need, need to give the header div a width so that it knows what the width of the div is. Otherwise, the floating uh, wouldn't work. Okay. So now that everything is perfectly aligned, we can move on to the next section. For this section, I'm going to drag in an image and I'm going to place an image tag in the second div and I'm going to give that image a class name. And in order for it to fill in the entire card, I'm going to give the card a fixed width of 640 pixels. And then the width of the image is going to be 100% to fill that div. Okay, and now that the image looks good, I'm going to move on to the next section. And as you can see, we have a few images there. One is for liking the post, the other one is for commenting, and the third one is for sharing. And then on the right side, uh, we have an image for saving the post. So for each one of those images, I'm going to add an image tag with the source pointing to a different file. And for each one of those tags, I'm going to have a different class name so I can identify them in my CSS file. The next thing I need to do is drag in some images so that the browser knows where to find those. And if we reload the page now, you can see those images listed at the bottom of the card. Now, in order to separate those images a little bit, we need to give them all a padding of 8 pixels. And for the last one, we're going to float it to the right. And now we can move on to the likes section. That's going to be underneath those images. As far as styling goes here, all we need to do is give it some space around the edges of the card and then leave a little bit of space underneath it so that the next section doesn't uh, bump into it. And then also a little bit of font weight so that it looks bolder. The next section is going to be the comments section. And we need to add some comments there so that we can see how the styling applies to them. And I'm going to add a div for each comment. And inside that div, we're going to have a few spans with different class names so that we can separate the profile name from the body of the comment. And by reloading the comment section, we can see there is too much spacing and there is no differentiation between the body of the comment and the profile name. So the profile name uh, needs to have some weight to it. So we're going to make it bolder. And to fix the spacing around the comments, I'm going to start by giving it a margin bottom of 4 pixels and a fixed line height. But for some reason, those changes don't seem to apply. And so now I'm going to start trying different things and see which one works in order to debug this problem. Now that the comments look OK, the last thing we need to fix is the alignment of the icons for the actions. And to do that, we need to float left all the icons. And because that's how floating works, we need to also add a clear fix div which resets the floating for the elements that follow. 
And for that to work, we need to separate the classes so that the comments and the icons have different names. So now that the action icons are aligned, I notice that I'm missing the like button for each comment. So I'm going to add an image tag for each one of those comments, and I'm going to make sure they align properly. And there you have it. That's how you build an Instagram card with just HTML and CSS. If you liked this tutorial, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like it.